Neil, certainly not the result we wanted today. What went wrong out there? <laughs> How long we got? How long we got? Um, you know, listen, we've the last five games um, that we've played, we've had a right go. We've battled. We've fought. Um, we've run and we've got our just desserts when we was lacking a bit of confidence and we built that back up and I knew today Bromley are strong at home and I knew we'd have to do the same to a team of men they're big they're strong they're powerful and ultimately we didn't we lost battles at that end we lost battles at that end um, and obviously two penalties are sending off it all was going to add to the scoreline but but we, we didn't we turned up we didn't do enough and again I don't like apologising to the fans because it's I was embarrassed by the performance I'm sure the fans were can only apologise but we let ourselves down because we spent five games trying to get ourselves in a good position. You touch on obviously a lot of the battles that were lost, but do you think we deserve to go in behind 2 0 at, at, at the end of that first one? Well, half? listen, it's a first one's. I don't know if it's a penalty, I haven't seen it back, but I think the referee, you know, I'm not going to blame the referee for our performance, but he, he didn't handle the game right from the word go for both teams. I think both teams were irate with him, he, he didn't stay calm. I, could, I was watching him, you know talking to the players with aggression so at the end of the day we lost our heads a bit there was too many bookings going early on in the game once you start booking I think five players have been booked in the first 18 minutes and once you start booking people you it's always going to be a sending off and I half knew there would be in the second half um, but penalties made us 1-0 down we've then got to stay in it and we're three minutes from half time and Cal tries to play a ball that wasn't on and everyone's out of shape and one pass and they're in on goal 2-0 and even the third goal, you know, we're taking a free kick, their lad's standing on the halfway line unmarked and at no point did any of the players, I'm trying to shout it on, but no point did the players go, oh that don't look good, just in case they break and that's why we give away the penalty and the sending off and then game's over. So it's game management, poor, lost battles and it looked like men against boys. I suppose was that the most disappointing thing, the manner of the goals that were conceded? Listen, goals, you mistakes, penalties, not much to do. The, the most disappointing thing today was we never looked like we laid a glove on them. We never won a battle, we never held the ball up up top, and we never, they held everything up that went forward. They either ran in behind us or they held it up, and every time Cheek plays against us, he must have a field day, because it's every time. And I knew it was coming. This, my game prep Thursday, Friday was everything about that. I tried to get the same performance we got at Boreham Wood, really aggressive, don't smother them. We either can't do it or we can't take on the information, but, um, really really flat and you know all that good work we've put in has gone out the window. Did you have a view on the sending off for Junior? I know obviously by that point the, the game was I suppose over wasn't it? Well he's been booked, he's been booked there but but you know he got booked, the referee didn't even see the foul that he got booked for and he's got an arm as he's gone in for the tackle, he's just caught the guy on the side of the head but like I say if the referee is going to give out yellow cards like sweets then someone's going to get sent off because that's why referees have to stay calm and unfortunately and I've said it to him at half time Referees, your job's to stay calm when players are getting frustrated and he didn't. I watched him answer players back with the same aggression that they was talking to him and his response to me at half time was, your players are talking to me aggressively, that's what I'm going to do back. And ultimately that's why we got so many bookings. But, I'm not blaming the ref, we were terrible, we were poor, Bromley run all over us, beat us up, thoroughly deserved the win. What can you do? And, and it was, it was doubly painful for me. I know the fans have travelled down, it's not their job, but it was doubly painful for me watching my team do that. Absolutely, and um, obviously today Mark Beck obviously named on, only on the bench and he confirmed to me before the game, but what was the reasoning behind him? Obviously yeah, missing out from the start. Becky's back went on Thursday, he was in pain, he was never going to play Thursday, the physio's done great, got him to the point where he could have a late fitness test um, to see if he was alright. We, the, the conclusion was he probably wouldn't last a game. Um, and he may, if it went early and seized up, he may have to come off early in the game. And I didn't want to use a sub, so we said, let's give Jack a run out. Um, we'd, we'd worked on that yesterday because we thought it might be the case. And we'll use Becky if we need to off the bench rather than try and put him through the 90. So, yeah, not ideal when you've lost Joe Sabara as well. Um, but, but that was what it was. Obviously, six games of the season left. I suppose now it's just trying to play a freedom and pick up as many points as possible. Yeah, you've got to try and have a strong end to the season and do basics. And, you know, like I say, every player now that's out of contract in the summer and stuff, they, they, they should be eager to get out there and play and show what they can do and try and uh, show the club that, that they're, they're worth contracts. And, and that's where we'll be now because it's, that defines our season too inconsistent and, and probably too soft in the end. Thanks for time,